Hello everyone. We have to explain uh, this statement uh, given in the question by giving scientific reason for that. So the statement is we cannot hear the echo produced in a classroom. Okay. So what should be the scientific reason behind this? We have to explain that. Okay. So now if we discuss this, so uh, the classroom are designed uh, in such a manner uh, or we can say in such a way that the distance uh, between the walls is less than 17.2 meter okay so if the distance between the walls is kept uh, less than 17.2 meter then due to this what happens the reflection of sound from the walls or we can see the reflected sounds are echoes so we can also say it's echoes so the reflection of sound from the walls or the echoes uh, reach our ears before 0.1 second and because of this we are not able to distinguish between the original sound and the reflected sound or echo okay because uh, it is the minimum time of persistence for uh, the human ear okay uh, if they if to sound uh, have the time intervals less than this so we cannot distinguish uh, those sounds okay differently so uh, okay uh, if the distance between the walls of the classroom uh, kept less than 17.2 meters so in that case the reflected sound uh, reach our ears before this time interval okay that is the persistence of sound for our ears so uh, in that case we cannot uh, distinct between uh, the original and the reflected sound or, or echo okay so in that case the echo does not produce okay uh, hence we can say that the explanation uh, of the given statement is discussed above okay which we have discussed here why uh, in a classroom the echo is not produced because the classroom is designed in such a way that uh, we will not distinguish the uh, original and reflected sound okay so it is the explanation for the given statement thank you